You guys ready to roll? Wait, do you know which candy Emily wants? Oh man, and I gotta move all this stuff out of the truck. I didn't know I had all this stuff in the truck, dude. Do it to it. Got some crackers. Yeah, watch out, watch out. Oh, watch out, watch out. All right, you guys, John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. You know what they say when one door closes, another door opens. Just the other day, I was gonna go out to Vegas to check out a Road Glide, my dream bagger for bagger wheelies, and the deal didn't pan out. Well, today, that other door opened. I found a Yamaha VMAX. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that has been one of the bikes on my list because it's the ultimate muscle cruiser. A four-cylinder Yamaha that puts out a ton of horsepower, a ton of torque, so we're gonna check it out. It's a 2007, it's got about 23,000 miles, a little bit higher than I'd like to pay, but whatever. Let's go check it out. I wanna see if we bring this thing home. Is it everything everybody's been saying it is? Does it live up to the hype? Is it better than I've been expecting? And then most importantly, check out these sunflowers that Jackie planted. These are like picture perfect. But most importantly, can we rock 12 o'clock on the Yamaha VMAX? So stay tuned, let's go check it out. Do you mind explaining for the viewers, since I won't be able to, yeah. what you're saying with the V-Boost? When it hits 6,000 RPMs, it'll open up a butterfly down here, and it gives the carburetor, uh, the, the engine uh, takes, each cylinder gets uh, two carbs full of air and fuel, so it's double the fuel, double the air. Um, and it's, uh, it's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> it, that's where you want to hold on, right? That's where you want to hold on. <laughs> and then, so this pops up here. So that's where the gas is. Yeah. The V-Rod do the same thing as that? The V-Rod's got the gas tank under the seat. Okay. And then you pop that off and you got everything else under there too. Wow. So here's one thing so you know. If you stick the key right here. Push down. Oh, and it'll pop that off. And then, so there's the radiator overflow and then the car uh, it has a cane it has a cane and air filter oh cool it's like a center piece in there all right you guys uh this is, has been a long time in the making we finally are checking out uh yamaha v max My first test ride, uh, technically my second time ever on a VMAX. I test rode one over a decade ago, probably. Now, obviously, on this test ride, I'm not going to be doing anything wild. Big shout out to Anthony, the uh, the seller. Seems like a real cool dude. Dude, I'm kind of scared of this thing, to be honest. taking it easy for now taking it easy all right so let's talk a little bit about it it's got the nice kind of mid control sportier um, seating position kind of like eh, not quite like a sport tour but it feels pretty comfortable the bars are forward obviously not a super aggressive stance though it feels about right it feels like how it should be you know it actually reminds me a little bit of the Harley of the uh, of the Harley street rod just as far as the ergonomics, believe it or not, just kind of how you're more like crouched. I love the sound, man. Listen to that. Now, obviously I'm, I'm taking it easy. The bike's not mine yet. You know, this is just a basic test ride. I don't want to go balls to the wall right out of the gate. So I am taking it easy, but uh, that's at but yeah I, I can feel where he's talking about the v-boost man you feel that v-boost kick in i think i got a little squirrely on the back tire that thing's wild wild You know, it's 
got like a deceptive feel to it because you almost don't even feel like you're going that fast and then oh geez and then next thing you know you look down and you're hitting like you know 80 90 miles an hour and it feels like you're going 45 50. Checking everything, checking brakes, checking all that. I gotta check tire pressure. It feels like tire pressure might be a little low. Anyway, so first impressions. This is like like a very horrible first impressions because it's the first time I've ever ridden the bike for the most part. Um, it's just a demo run test ride. I haven't purchased it yet. You know, so I'm a little reserved and I'm still nervous, honestly, because I've heard so much about these motorcycles. But initial impressions. I'm a little bit scared to be honest scared to see what this thing's really made of um, but stoked at the same time this one is a really nice example of a well-maintained v-max you know been taken care of garage kept all that good stuff 23,000 miles ridden but not abused you know what i mean so anyway needless to say uh we're gonna bring the bike home and so stay tuned for some more gnarly videos i apologize this video is kind of all over the place not very well articulated it's hard to put into words exactly what i'm experiencing here but but we'll get there man we'll get there um yeah pretty stoked about this thing we'll jump off we'll go get the title stuff taken care of i'll load it up and we should be good to go Hundo there. Okay. I hate even even the cash is dirty. You know how it is, man. It's. Are right, you guys? We're gonna pick up the motorcycle. Big shout out to Anthony, the uh, seller of the bike. I'm gonna load up the ramps. We'll get the motorcycle loaded up, and then we'll call it a deal. You guys were well here it is the uh 2007 v-max here's a quick walk around because i didn't do one really before it's got aftermarket voodoo four into one exhaust uh aside from that pretty much stock you got these passenger floorboards fender eliminator kit side mounted license plate but otherwise basically your stock v-max so i'm excited to jump on this bike and see what it's all about i've heard a lot of rad things about these they've definitely been hyped up and so yeah we're gonna find out john's moto garage like and subscribe if you dig it stay tuned for more videos on this one to come and we'll catch you on the next one adios nos vemos